One person is dead, 10 more in the hospital after a chemical exposure at a restaurant in Massachusetts. As David Winter shows us, the same chemical blamed for the deadly reaction is actually pretty common in local restaurants. Emergency crews in hazmat suits Thursday night at this Buffalo Wild Wings in Massachusetts, following one man killed and 10 others injured from chemical exposure. What we believe happened is a worker at Buffalo Wild Wings used a cleaning agent on the floor. Uh, the cleaning agent is called Super 8. The manufacturer of Super 8 referred us to its website, which states the product is a sanitizer for low temperature wear washing and food contact service sanitizing. It's designed for use in mechanical or hand dishwashing operations. It is a common product used in our food service establishments. Tucker Stone with Food Safety at the Hamilton County Health Department says restaurants all over the area use Super 8 and used properly, it's not a problem. He says restaurants are required to get management trained and certified for proper use of cleaning supplies and told how to test for proper amounts. Roughly about there. The bartender at Arnold's in downtown Cincinnati is required to test his dishwashing water every four hours and the owner says she takes the requirements very seriously. Everything is in its own uh, container and everything has a set amount of distribution. It has warning signs. We have labels all over our kitchen. We train our guys when they come in. And you don't need to work at a restaurant to get yourself into trouble. Common household products like bleach and window cleaner, which can contain ammonia if mixed together, can produce chlorine gas. Just how many restaurant workers are aware of dangerous chemical reactions is hard to pin down. And the health department admits violations related to food storage are more common than those related to having certified managers training cleaning crews. The person charged violation is not a common violation that our health department is citing. Stone says it's likely the worker in Massachusetts mixed Super 8 with another chemical to cause a toxic cloud, highlighting the need for education. David Winter, Local 12 News. And the Centers for Disease Control reports chlorine accidents occur in the U.S. at a rate of at least once every two to three days. One third of those cause injuries. Three.